Okay, this lesson, lesson seven, natural and character animation. The main point of this lesson is to show you how to use the bone tool, which is actually, in my opinion, uh, it's new to me until just recently, but it is a very powerful, valuable tool. So actually, we need to go. We need to go find lesson seven start open that up <clears throat> and unfortunately it's a canvas but whatever look in the library though and you'll find all these parts of this monkey so first step is they want you to drag well I guess actually the first step is to save this so command shift s or however you like to do a file save as So working copy uh, actually I want to call it two because I've already done this once. And now I'll drag all these parts of the monkey onto the stage. Click off, start separating them out. There's the body. There's the pants, pelvis or whatever you want to call it. There's a leg, there's part of an arm, another part of an arm, hand, <clears throat> foot, <clears throat> and then a little tiny leg. So the way the book describes dealing with this, they actually want you to leave the body parts separated by a bit. just to help illustrate how to work with this stuff. And you'll notice there's only one arm, but if you hold down, I think it's option, select them, then hold down option, you can create another arm. Then let's use the free transform to flip it around. So now we've got two arms. Same thing with down here. Let's select those and hit uh, option. Actually, it might not work with, no, it does work with the free transform tool. Drag it over here. Probably bring these a little closer. Alright, so roughly the way the book has you arrange them. And now you start building the bones and let's see they start off with the arm so I'm going to click the bone tool and you got to decide where you want to attach the bone so I'm going to attach it simply right in the center and just drag that over to where you want it to attach and then from there click again and attach it to that one and there, click again and attach to that one. Okay. Likewise, on the other arm, click, click, and click, or release. And now let's attach this to the pants, from there to the leg, knee bone connected to the shoe bone. Connect, connect, and in case you're wondering, there is a way to change where you attach these things down the road. So, <clears throat> if it's not perfect and you start working with it and you decide that you need to adjust something, the book has explanations on how you can do all that. And uh, I'll have you notice that when you started using the bone tool, it created this layer called Armature 1 for you. And that's automatic. So now let's see. <clears throat> I think at this point we can start bringing the arms and things together. So let's see. If you hold the Option key, it says if you hold the Option key, you can, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'll zoom in on this arm. 
And it says if you hold the option tool, yeah, that's not working for me. Let's see, Alt Option, maybe that's it. No, there's no Alt on the Mac. So just the option key, you can see what it's saying I should be able to use, but it's not moving. So they say you can also use the free transform tool. You gotta, uh, maybe, maybe actually it would have worked if I had clicked off. Now let's try the option tool. Yeah, that, that works. That's good to know. So you gotta click off and then use the option tool. Either that or just use the free transform. But even if you use the free transform, you've got to click off or it'll try to move everything. So <clears throat> now you notice this seems to be, it's a little funny, but we can click and say arrange, send to back. That puts it behind that. And I think I actually like the hand in front. I tried it the other way and it doesn't look as good. So let's scroll over here and do the same thing. Hold down the option key. Click off, hold down the option key. Click off. Okay, same thing here. I want to send it to back. Or send it back. Yeah. And this one I think should be sent back as well. Okay, that means this one needs to go back further. So there's kind of virtual layers going on here. Uh, I might as well drag this head down. Maybe that's not positioned quite right. Maybe I need to center this point a little better. And I think the way to do that is you click free transform and just move this. So now let's see if the bone tool, yeah, so it's connected now. It's more the center. I'm not looking at the, yeah, that's good. All right, so now down here, hold option, bring up the bridges. Click off, bring these up, click off, bring this up. I think we better probably rotate this. And option, drag this up. Looks like we should probably send this to back, or send it back. Yeah. Drag this up. Send it back. Drag this up. Looks good. And control or command two. So now that it's all connected, you can see how how much easier it will be to animate this guy since you can just grab his arm and move it. I think it's a very powerful tool for Flash. Well, it looks like there's a problem with this, though. That arm is further back than it should be, so I'm going to have to bring this forward. Bring forward. There we go. That's good. What about it in reference to the head? I think the head should be... The head should be covering that arm, but not this arm. So I think we need to send the head back one level, at least one, and see what happens. Send backward. Try another. Send backward. Let's see if that solves the problem. Okay, we're almost there. Send backward. One more. Okay, so there now the hand's in front as it should be. What about this one? Uh, send this hand back. There we go. And what about down here? The hand is behind everything. Is this hand in front of everything? Okay, let me send the shorts back. And the leg. And this leg too. And I 
think it looks better if these shorts are back. One more shot there. Now what about that that looks about right? Good. So the book's got other advice on if you want to rotate, let's say you're trying to just move the hand and you end up getting frustrated because it's pulling the arm too. Uh, if you hold shift, it'll let you just move the hand. It's good to know. And <coughs> they talk about the stacking order, which is what I was doing with arranging send to back and send front and all that. Uh, let's see what else. They talk about creating a walk cycle and pinning individual bones. The isolation of individual, disabling the rotation of joints so you can disable certain uh, rotations like you want the pelvis to not rotate. So let's see, enable, disable, okay. So if we click on the pants, go over here, and somewhere over here it's supposed to enable. Let's see, joint rotation. Mm, let's see, okay, so you click this bone and disable joint rotation. So let's see. I hope that didn't work. Maybe I gotta click this again and then pin that. No. Not quite sure what pinning does. So the pants are no longer able to rotate. That's good. So is that what pinning does? Let me look at this. Okay, so the, that is what pinning does. It holds them in place. So At this point, basically, you're done with the lesson. There are some details worth reading about in the book, and they talk about creating a walk cycle. I'm going to leave that to a different video, because this is pretty much uh, a nice place to stop. So I will stop here and practice a walk cycle a little bit and then I'll be back with another video showing you how to create a walk cycle.